Four years ago, Christmas week, when my daughter was 16 years old, she was having breathing problems, which we thought might have been asthma. We discovered a tumor that was the size of a baseball lodged in her windpipe. Hi, my name is Nicole. When I was six, I was diagnosed with aplastic anemia. My name's Chase, I'm 11 years old. When I was three and a half, I had neuroblastoma, which is cancer in my abdomen. I was diagnosed in October of 1995 with leukemia. When I started in pediatric uh, oncology in the late 1960s, about 10 to 20 percent of children with cancer survived. The rest died. That has changed dramatically over the past uh, 40 years, such that uh, about 75 percent of children with cancer can be expected to survive. It was very strange being 16 and having all this happen, you know, I had to be in the hospital and I missed out on being away from all the people I cared about. I had a bone marrow transplant and it was very hard for them to find a donor for me. It took a while but they found one and her name's Nicola. They said that I would only have a 10% chance to live and that they wanted to do this experiment on me to try to find a cure for it. First I underwent chemotherapy at Children's Hospital Los Angeles for about three months, and then the task was to go with the bone marrow transplant in January of 1996. My four-year-old daughter here, Jessie, was diagnosed with sickle cell anemia uh, from the time she was born. If we could cure these children at, uh, you know, in infancy, then we would essentially prevent uh, the need for lifelong um, uh, care and, and management of all the complications that, uh, um, that occur throughout the entire life of these children. Every member of the hospital is oriented towards looking after children, particularly looking after children who are seriously ill. Even from the receptionist at the front desk who has seen sick children and their families come through is aware of the stress and the complex issues that are facing each patient. I've never seen a doctor anywhere do what he did, which was to take out his business card write his home number down as well as his pager number and tell my daughter that um, if she had any fears or concerns any time, day or night, that she should call him. And he was just so gracious and so, so not like a doctor that I had ever been to. Best hospital that we've ever known and it's why I'm here today. We have to really credit them for counseling us and giving us the, the, uh, the moral support, you know, through the whole process. Our goal, our mission at Children's Hospital Los Angeles is to develop the very best treatments for children with cancer, to be able to deliver those very best treatments, and to develop those treatments based on translating information from the laboratory, from the research bench, to the bedside of children who need this treatment desperately, as rapidly as possible. Life has been very good to me since recovering from cancer, and I pretty much can do anything a normal 18-year-old can do. Thank goodness we have Children's Hospital Los Angeles. We love them with all our heart. This kind of research and this kind of treatment requires substantial professional and technological expertise. That is why the Children's Center for Cancer and Blood Diseases has launched a campaign to raise $50 million in order to provide the ongoing support for the professionals and the technology that is necessary to both discover new answers for these children and at the same time be able to deliver them in the very best possible way. I don't know what your definition of a miracle is, but um, this is mine. Now I'm 11 years old and I've been seven years in remission. Children's Hospital is great. They gave my life back.